news is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides? Hey, miss, is the shortest distance between two points a straight line like this? Oh! And is it true that if you spin in a circle before launching a missile, you increase its velocity? be coming back one hour less maths yeah <gasps> you little miss beetle you have a choice get down at once or i'll make you recite pythagoras backwards 50 times my name is miss chicago i'm your new maths teacher and i want to be able to hear a fly go by good you two there yeah. recite the seven times table while performing head over heels about it, or you will copy out your maths textbook for tomorrow. One seven is seven, two seven to fourteen, three seven to twenty one, four seven to twenty eight, five seven to twenty five, six seven to I don't like maths anymore. I'm not going to classes. Miss Smith walked out because of the chaos, and her replacement is really weird. She made Rani and Alex do head over heels, and Jessica redo an exercise Ooh. standing on one leg. My little mongoose never forget the detective's rule number one. Don't be fooled by appearances. She may be weird, but she's still a good teacher. Clients at the SBI. Well, at least something's normal. Well, Chicago doesn't know us. We didn't do anything to her. In punishments come raining down. The SBI has to find out why she's got us in her sights. After class, she made us count up to a thousand to the tune of Jingle Bells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, all right, 11. I get it. It's awful. As a punishment, I'm not too keen on investigating a teacher. But she thinks Chicago's so weird she doesn't want to go back to maths class. How did you hear that? Are you hiding under the kitchen table or something? <laughs> My new invention, the Sonic Dewey. It picks up sonic waves remotely. I don't know how I come up with this stuff. You were spying on me. It's great, right? So, you're going to take the case or not? We can do more than that. We're going to see the principal. The head of the school should be aware of what his teachers are up to. No, no, and no again. Miss Chicago will remain here. Since when did students choose their teachers? Agreed. But can you explain where Miss Smith has gone and why her replacement turned up so quickly? That's none of your business. Now clear out of my office. So what's plan B? We sort it out ourselves? Exactly! Who'd call themselves after a town? The only stuff about Chicago is United States and Al Capone. And it seems she doesn't live anywhere. There's no Miss Chicago in the phone book. A maths teacher. She must be on some graduate website. Chicago, Chicarding. No Chicago. So she's not a maths teacher? So basically, we know nothing. So what's plan C? Well, pass me your trusty Tronic Dewey. Sonic Dewey? So what are you up to? Like you? Spine. Well, I'll go and see Miss Smith and tell her she has to come back because her replacement is a nutcase with no qualifications. That's all. If it doesn't work, it's because you pressed off. I'm at Miss Smith's house. Good luck. Ah! Calm has settled once more. Students are attending classes. And here is my present. Thank you. Miss Smith was beginning to lose it. Right, I must be going. I should tell you, Sally and Dewey asked me some questions about you. Be careful. If they ferret around too much, he can just say you'll expel them. <laughs> Plan D. We're going to get expelled if we go on with the investigation. We have to stop. It's far too dangerous. No, we're not going to be intimidated, especially as the smell's really fishy. The principal is giving Chicago presents. That's why he's covering for her. They're friends. So do we keep going? Absolutely. But I 
didn't say anything. Sally, I've been knocking on Miss Smith's door for half an hour. I've had enough. I'm leaving. No, don't move. Because of your phone call, Dewey, Miss Chicago almost caught me. I'm risking a lot for this inquiry, so you can at least stay put. Something zebra! Dewey, get out of there! What? But five seconds Shh. ago, you were telling me to stay. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I just can't wait to hear your explanation for being here. Certainly an unusual place to be playing. Uh, we came to see Miss Smith. We weren't doing anything wrong, so no punishment, please. Punish you for coming to see Constance? Oh, what a thought. I don't believe she's at home. Oh, have you had tea? I have some lovely mm -hmm. octopus jam, if you'd like. Mm -hmm. Why didn't Miss Chicago punish us? Because there's no reason. You are too adorable, my little mongoose. Yes, but you know me. Chicago doesn't. She finds us spying, and instead of getting mad, she offers us octopus jam. Maybe that's a punishment in disguise. Sally, I know you don't like maths, but for a successful investigation, nothing beats logic. Miss Chicago is living at Miss Smith's house? Yes, so therefore they know each other. And who does she punish in your class? Of course. Miss Chicago punishes Ronnie and Alex, the boys who created Mayhem in Miss Smith's class. Dewey, we have to question all the students who have been punished by Miss Chicago and find out if they play pranks on Miss Smith. <gasps> to make everybody laugh. Miss Chicago made me correct all my assignments two-handed. With Miss yeah. Smith, I played the explorer. I, I crawled under the tables. Chicago made me recite all of Pythagoras while balancing dictionaries on my head. Well, I used to have this super wheeze. I used to stand up really, really slow. <laughs> Miss Chicago made me draw 250 isosceles triangles. Even if I don't like it, I can concentrate. I can understand the lesson. Everybody's doing better at maths. OK, to sum up, we have a teacher, apparently with no qualifications, but who gets great results with the students. Who is friends with the principal and our old teacher. This is a big mystery or a big secret. Know where a woman keeps her secrets? I don't know, but I'd really like to. In her handbag. There, a little quadratic equation. That'll keep them quiet. Oh, miss, I know the class is about to start, but I've got a terrible stomachache. Could you take me to the infirmary? OK, no time to lose. My bag! McAdam, wait for me here. Chicago got Miss Smith's passport. <laughs> Miss Smith can't have gone around the world without a passport. Chicago must have stolen it. We have to go back to Miss Smith's house. Number one, we don't know if Chicago robbed Smith. Number two, if Chicago catches us, we'll be expelled. And number three, I've messed up a life with the school nurse. I've never seen a stomach in such good condition. It looks more like a case of mathophobia, Master McAdam. Number four, Sally Bollywood never abandons a case. Number five, if you're scared, I'll go by myself. We have to put the passport back in Miss Chicago's bag. <sighs> She's a prisoner. Why isn't the principal doing anything? Number six, Dewey never abandoned Sally. Number seven, I've got my DNA detected to find out who Chicago is. And I can't think of a number eight. Miss Smith, there's a prisoner in there. We have to rescue her now. <laughs> <laughs> in class. I believe you have entered these premises uninvited. What should we do for punishment? You're not a real teacher. You have no maths qualifications. So then how do you explain why all the students have improved since I arrived? Because you use Miss Smith's class notes. But we know that she's a prisoner here. Why would I want to keep Constance as a prisoner? I don't know, but we're going to find out who you are. We have a DNA detector, and with your hair, we're going to expose you. 1,000 billion putrid protons! Miss Chicago has the same DNA as oil! There are no human genes in this hair. Don't worry, Dewey. She can't be an alien. It's just her hair that isn't human. 
I should have known that with sleuths like you, I'd have my work cut out. Miss Smith? Smith? I've been preparing my disguise for a long time now. Are you sure about your plan, Miss Smith? It's the only solution. My students create chaos in my class, all because I'm nice to them. At the next disturbance, I'm turning into a nutty professor, and then they'll really learn what respect means. And that's how Miss Chicago came into being. Maybe it's time for her to leave now. And I think the students have all learned their lesson. Miss Chicago has left on a trip. But I too want to hear a fly go by. 